Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday the 2nd. I'm FX Blue and I'm representing the 90s Brit Poppers with a bit of park life this morning. So Boris was on uh, in the wake of Partygate, that report from Sue Gray. He made a second apology in the Commons in a week. His future is far from certain as a number of MPs are considering letters of no confidence, which would be a prerequisite to a vote on his future. Um, all the pressure comes from within the Tory party. Um, calls from the opposition for him to resign are little more than hot air at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, the economy is ticking on in the right direction. Uh, manufacturing data, um, output data rather, shows that that continues to improve. Uh, while the sector only contributes about 20% of GDP, it does remain a major employer. Uh, backlogs are beginning to be addressed. Um, as the availability of spare parts and raw materials improve. Uh, this should help um, input prices, and it's the first bit of good news that we've seen in six months that there are signs of inflationary pressures beginning to ease. The market remains convinced that the Bank of England will hike rakes for a second consecutive month when the MPC decision is announced uh, tomorrow lunchtime, um, and that is helping support sterling. We're having a pretty good week against the dollar, rising for the third consecutive session um, as we claw back some of the ground lost last week. Uh, yesterday, we touched 135.30 against the dollar, uh, and we've recovered the, uh, the 120 level against the euro. Um, over in the US, manufacturing data has added to the concerns of the pace of recovery there. Uh, largely due to Omicron, activity in the sector fell to, uh, from 58.8 to 57.6. Output remains strong, um, but it may have begun to level out as supply chain issues remain and investment plans will be affected by the Fed's plans to raise interest rates. Um, Goldman Sachs has been on. They follow the IMF's lead and cut growth forecasts for the US. Uh, they've trimmed their estimates to 3.2% um, for the year ahead. Uh, the Fed is committed to taming inflation, but there are growing concerns about their plan. Many feel that they took too long to start tapering support, and that has put them in a position where they may need to rush through the interest rate hikes to catch up with the curve. Um, this is fueled, at least in part, by the suggestion that they may kick off with a, a half a percent rate hike next month rather than the 25 basis points, which would keep uh, more in line with the softly, softly approach. Uh, the last thing they need uh, is to get all gung-ho and overshoot the interest rates while all the external factors like supply chain issues uh, are still working themselves out. Uh, aside from that, though, it's all about employment this week. Uh, the market is very much looking forward to non-farm payrolls on Friday, almost as much as you degenerate sweepstakers chasing your place on the top spot. Um, we'll have a bit of pre-game today when the ADP private sector jobs report is released. Uh, that is forecast for a little over 200,000 new jobs, which would be a big drop from the December number where we saw 807,000 new jobs. Uh, yesterday, the dollar index fell a little to 96.25 as the dollar correction continues, but it may be running out of momentum. Support remains around 95.80 and that should hold ahead of non-farm Friday. Uh, Euro dollar has recovered a little bit. That opens this morning around 112.75. Right, well, I hope you enjoy the new route. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.